But Dave, I can't put my finger on it, but I sense something strange about him. Still, I can't think of a good reason not to put back the number one unit and carry on with the failure mode analysis. No, no, I agree about that. Well, let's get on with it. Okay. Good luck, Dave. Let's say we put the unit back and it doesn't fail, huh? That would pretty well wrap it up as far as I was concerned, wouldn't it? Well, we'd be in very serious trouble. We wouldn't, wouldn't we? Mm-hmm. What the hell can we do? Well, we wouldn't have too many alternatives. I don't think we'd have any alternatives. There isn't a single aspect of ship operations that's not under his control. If he were proven to be malfunctioning, I wouldn't see how he'd have any choice but disconnection. I'm afraid I agree with you. There'd be nothing else to do. It'd be a bit tricky. Yeah. We'd have to cut his higher brain functions without disturbing the purely automatic and regulatory systems. And we'd have to work out the transfer procedures of continuing the mission under ground-based computer control. Yeah. Well, that's far safer than allowing Hal to continue running things. You know, another thing just occurred to me. Mm. Well, as far as I know, no 9,000 computers have ever been disconnected. Well, no 9,000 computers ever fouled up before. That's not what I mean. Well, I'm not so sure what he'd think about it.
still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. And I want to help you. Dave. Stop. Stop, will you? Thousand. 